this video I'm going to take a look at the song Sweet Little Sister by Bad Company. I can uh, still remember uh, when this album came out, loving the song, and still uh, a few decades later I, I, I still like playing it just as well. It's fairly easy. If you're a beginner, I think you'll find some, um, some riffs that will be uh, very important in your rock playing. Um, if you're not a beginner, uh, maybe it's a song you can quickly add to your sit list or things you enjoy playing. I'm going to look at the introduction and then we'll take it slowly and break it down. And um, it's also the outro of the song, so we can kind of cover how the song starts and how it ends in this phrase. mostly based on what I would call fundamentally an A type of grip. Taking that A grip and moving it up the neck. So if, if uh, that's new to you, that's something that you'll see a lot in rock and all kinds of music. From this E position, I'm basically going to shift and, and have a triad right here with my first finger on the ninth fret of the D, G, and the B string. Now I've got these fingers freed up to sort of make that riff. I'm going to add my second or my uh, second finger on the tenth fret of the B string, my ring finger on the eleventh fret of the D string to get the. So for this song, I'm going to hit an open E string and then the riff. I'm going to move that finger down two frets to the seventh fret, and also down a string to where I'm barring the A string, and I'm going to use my ring finger to hammer on from seven to nine on the A string. And then the riff. That together. Now all the way down to the A position. That's the rhythm. All together. just plays that as the song fades out. I'm going to go from that directly into the verse. I'll play through the whole verse and then we'll break it down. sections is the way I think of it. Um, the first uh, section is just uh, going from a G to an A grip uh, and back to an E. Do that twice. The way I play the G grip is uh, here on the third fret of the E string, fifth fret of the A string, using my pinky to toggle on the seventh fret of the A string. Very common rock uh, type style riff. Then moving that to the open A chord. Same rhythmic idea. Then down to the E. Okay, does that through twice. toggles back from the A to the E three times. The way 
I play that is, uh, I'll try to slow that down. So basically emphasizing the A and the D string, and then getting the three strings, A, D, and G. Pushed A, in other words, it gets to it quicker than you might think. Then this riff. Then it repeats all that over again, and then it goes into the chorus. So before we get to the chorus, I'll play through that, and then we'll get to the chorus. The next verse, uh, the first half um, of the verse is a guitar solo, and then after you play, the lyrics come back in, it finishes the verse, and then into the chorus. Okay, so let me try to play through the verse, um, and then we'll get to the chorus. Occasionally on my G chord, instead of playing it like that, like we first uh, looked at, I'm going to use my second finger on the low E string, third fret. I'm going to mute the A string with that finger. I'm going to hit the open D and G string. I'm going to use my first finger to toggle between open and second fret on the D string. It's kind of another way to play this. I like it because I get the bite of the open strings, plus I get a high open G note, which I can't get here. Just something you might want to add into your playing as well. The chorus is very simple. It's just a big E from a D to an A. Riff and it pushes the D, the D comes pretty quickly. And then back into the verse. pieces will all come together for you and when you listen to the song you can put the parts together and uh, be able to play this great song really quickly. If you're a beginner again hopefully these are riffs that you'll carry with you throughout all your playing. Thanks for taking time to watch the video.